Hello beautiful friends, welcome back for another pick a card. So today's pick a card is going to be all about your love life in terms of who you are going to marry, what characteristics this person possesses, and maybe around the time you'll meet them in your life. So for pile number one we have pyrite, pile number two we have red jasper, and pile number three we have rose quartz. Go ahead and pause the video if you need more time to make a selection. Timestamps will be in the description box as well as in the comments below. I'll see you guys at your pile. Hello friends, you chose Pyrite, aka pile number one. Hopefully it can focus. So let's go ahead and dive right into your reading. So right off the bat, we have two of pentacles clarified by three of cups. We have nine of swords clarified by ten of cups. We have the four of cups in reverse clarified by the knight of pentacles. We have the devil in reverse clarified by the three of pentacles. So right off the bat, this is someone who, when I was shuffling, I feel like they're workaholic. They like to work, not necessarily in, in a bad way in terms of making it seem, because like you, you hear the word workaholic and you think it sounds really bad, but the way that I'm taking it is that this person, the moment there's like a spark, the moment there's like a aha moment, they want to put their all forward to make sure that then grows and grows and grows until it can't no more. They're the type of person to always put an effort. They're not the type of person to just like, let's say you get into an argument. No, like this person isn't going to give up on you just because you had a really big argument. This person is going to try to take some time, try to see it from your perspective and then come back, right? Because when you argue with your partner, it's not you versus them. It's you two trying to figure out the problem. Like it's like you two versus the problem. It's not you versus, you know, it's not a one-on-one -on -one match. <laughs> um, so with the two of pentacles, I feel like this person has a, a decent like work-life balance. Although sometimes I feel like it could be 60, 40, 60 in terms of again working because they're the type of partner, they're the type of um, husband or wife to always think about how they can improve in whatever they can improve, whether it's their work, um, pleasing you, making you happy. Um, I feel like they tend to overthink a lot. Um, in the aspect that not overthinking to the point where they don't like where they feel really insecure and they don't feel good about themselves i feel like it's more they overthink because they want to make sure if they're surprising you every nitty gritty detail down to the very last i don't know step you have to take before you get to the surprise is measured and accounted for because they want to make sure it comes out perfect because you deserve the world in their eyes right because looking at the nine of swords clarified by ten of cups this is someone who again is very meticulous this is someone who does every little thing to make sure you guys have like had the happiness you deserve together this is the person who if you guys plan a trip they will like plan for everything that could possibly go wrong on the trip like if you need like i don't know extra pads extra birth control, extra pills, like extra t-shirts, extra underwear, like all that, they're the people who plan for it. Like if you go to the beach, they're not just gonna spontaneously go to the beach, no. They're gonna pack snacks, they're gonna pack sunscreen, they're gonna pack everything you need to be at the beach and more, if that makes sense. That way if you get bored, you have other stuff to do too. Um, but going back to the two of pentacles, clarified by the three of cups, yeah, this is someone that you guys are gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of adventures with. This is someone who the both of you are going to grow together and kind of like see different sides of each other that you never really thought existed. Like this is someone who is not only going to get along with your family and your friends, but you're also going to be doing the same to the point where like your friends group can be blended and both sides don't have a problem with the other. It's like a good environment to raise if you want kids, like a good family, you know, fur babies, if you have pets, um, Looking over to the Four of Cups in reverse, I feel like this person is kind of like someone you expected to come in, like in terms of like characteristic wise, like this is someone that like you don't feel like you're settling for. This is someone you're like, damn right, this is my person. This is my person. Like my person does this for me, this for me. They're romantic. They love me, this, all that. Like they respect me. They give me space. Like this isn't someone that like makes you think twice before you go out with them. This partner is someone who is always trying to, I don't know, do something for you to show how much they love you. Like this is the type of person who wants to, if they, like let's say if you want like a, I don't know why this popped in, but like a Tiffany bracelet or something, which can be hella expensive. This is the type of person to be like, okay, she wants that. I'm going to buy her that and the matching set so let me save up because she deserves it because 
my partner deserves the world because of how you make them feel and and the home you provide for them and everything that you do for them so their love language might be um might be gifts or it might be i'm hearing like uh actions if that makes sense like every little thing they do speaks louder than the words they could probably tell you because maybe this person is kind of shy when you meet them um though i do want to say this person has no problem wanting to provide for you this is the type of person who if you are still a student if you are deciding to go back to school and you have to cut your work hours or something happens and you get laid off from your, from your job or something this is the type of person to one not make you feel bad because that okay and number two they're the type of person to be like oh hey babe like it's okay like i want to be the breadwinner it's all good and even if it means like you're like a stay-at-home like housewife or you know um stay-at-home husband this person has no problem wanting to like make the money for the two of you if that makes sense like this person isn't stingy this person doesn't make you feel bad this is a type of person who genuinely loves to give because they know you deserve it and they know that you're a good person and that you make them happy so because of that they don't have a problem whereas like if other people who were stingy other people who are rude they wouldn't give them their time of day you know but with you they wouldn't mind giving you i don't know ten thousand dollars if you wanted it you know like this is the type of person who doesn't mind providing if you need them to but they also respect the fact that you don't have to be the stay-at-home husband or wife you know like they also like the fact that you are financially driven in the aspect like you have goals ahead you are determined you know what you want out of life and you're going to work for it and they're more than happy to support you you know um with the devil being in reverse it's telling me that when you guys like meet like you guys are both going to be out of like a toxic situation i want to say or like out of a toxic area of your life like you guys are going to both like um like this is like how do i explain the devil being in reverse it's like you guys are finally like opening your eyes to like how toxic old situations were so that you never settle like this is someone who's not toxic if anything this is the type of person to tell you like hey babe i think going to starbucks every single day is a little toxic for you like it's not a good habit like maybe you should change it and you'll be like oh damn you're right you know like something something like that or like, hey babe, are you feeling down today? Where are you feeling down? Or oh, were you talking bad about yourself again? Like you shouldn't do that. You know, like your thoughts create your reality. Like this is someone I feel like is very upfront with you when they see that something or someone isn't treating you the way you deserve to be treated. They don't mind pointing it out to you. Like they're very blunt about it. Like when they see you settling for less, it makes them upset because they know you deserve more. I also feel like, again, with the threes, because we have three, 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 or like we have like two threes, maybe three, 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 or maybe they're 33. I don't know. I just randomly popped that into my head. Um, three might be a significant like month or number for you. I also feel like you guys might have three kids or you guys will be a family of three. They might have a kid or maybe two kids. Um though i really feel more the number three represents to me is building like a solid foundation like i feel like you guys are really um you guys are kind of like laying down the concrete before you start to build anything if that makes sense and it's gonna be very stable and both of you guys i feel like are going to be so good for one another i'm genuinely excited i'm gonna start flipping your oracle cards i got just to get more clarification on the issue or like uh, your person and their characteristics at hand lol we have adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So maybe you guys are overthinking. Maybe you guys are the ones who feel like you are inadequate to attract a good person into your life. Or maybe, uh, this just came really like specific, but maybe sometimes you guys, like if you have met this person or when you meet this person, I feel like you guys are going to question the happiness they give you. You're gonna be like, oh my God, like universe, this is really for me. Like they make me feel so good. Are you sure this is my person? Like, are you sure I can trust them? Yes, you can trust them. Yes, this happiness is yours. You deserve to be happy. But you're like, oh my God, I feel so guilty for being so happy. Like they treat me so good. Like no one's ever done that before. Da -da -da -da. Like you feel like kind of guilty in a way because you've never felt so happy and you just don't want it to dis disappear, you know? Your next monology card, we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. You could be a cancer, they could be a cancer, or it could just say that you guys are really in touch with them. Um, 
your love like you guys are very vulnerable emotionally is what I'm feeling I feel like this is someone who makes you feel at home this is someone who um yeah this is someone who just makes you feel at home this is someone you know you could trust with anything and everything and they're not gonna take it and in turn like hurt you or backstab you with the information you share your next oracle card says TikTok. so maybe you're getting impatient as you're watching this reading or maybe you're feeling like this person will never come one have patience two i feel like this person is going to come at a very like serendipitous time in your life where maybe everything is cr crashing down and then you meet this person you're like oh shit like at least one thing came good out of the situation or maybe you meet them in a moment where you almost didn't go again very serendipitous is what i'm feeling where it's like if you didn't go to the play you almost wouldn't have met them or if you um if you didn't attend zoom lectures and you wouldn't have found them <laughs> via zoom chat or something i don't know but yeah i feel like tiktok don't rush into anything this person's not gonna make you if anything i feel like this person's not going to um disrespect your boundaries and disrespect you like they're the type of person to take it one day at a time especially when you meet them like they're not gonna make you like rush into anything but i also feel like this is the type of person where like you spend an hour with them and it doesn't feel like it you know what i mean it feels like five minutes because just talking to them feels like so short and so nice and you could just do it for hours you know your next card you have is go the distance hmm so maybe this is yeah this is the type of person again who's very hard working they don't mind, again, saving up the extra, like, thousand dollars if you want to go on a trip or something or you really want the bracelet. Um, they're the type of person to go the distance, to run the extra mile to show you just how much they're grateful for having met you and having you in their life and how much they love you. This isn't the type of person to make you feel bad at all. This is the type of person who, who would do anything to see you smile, and that literally makes me so happy. The next one we have is no place like home this is so funny because i was saying how like you guys both feel comfortable around one another you guys both are able to be vulnerable and there's no judgment it's again a very safe space um yeah i feel like they're like it sounds very cheesy but like when you guys hug them or when you guys touch one another like you feel so comfortable it's like it's so different compared to like every day you know what i mean I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping over your whimsical lovers oracle cards I pulled four of them to just get clarification on the love we have boundaries that's funny <laughs> i was talking about boundaries do not be afraid to set your boundaries and assert them in order to protect yourself from their malice intentions in this aspect i don't think they have any malice if i'm honest i feel like this is the type of person to respect you like you guys are adults they're not going to walk all over you this is in like high school or middle school where people would just make you feel bad this is the person who understands no is no and they you don't have to tell them no like they can see it you know what i mean they wouldn't even pursue something if they knew damn well you're not gonna feel comfortable with it your next one is toxic this relationship is toxic and can soon become dangerous if not stopped i don't think the relationship is toxic i think it's more the toxic trait that they have in terms of workaholic like they're the type of person to work 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 and maybe that takes time away from you guys hanging out with one another or it could be that this person or you both were in a, a toxic relationship previously with two different partners so this person could have some ptsd or you could have some ptsd from being in that toxic relationship and maybe this is the reason why they buy you the gifts and they spoil you is because they are so grateful that you don't hurt them the way other partners have previously hurt them or vice versa the next one we have is in love both partners in this connection love one another deeply and unconditionally see you guys are both in love this is so cute it's like a good it's a good, you know, vibe that I'm picking from this pile. The next one we have is little things. It's the small things your partner does that showcases their love for you. Look into their love language to better understand them. Was I not mentioning love language earlier when we were talking about gifts? It's literally so funny. Um, so yeah, that's what I have so far. But I actually made these little cards like the other day. And they have like the different months on them and stuff. So I'm going to just like shuffle them really quickly and see around what time you guys might meet this person. So when will pile number one meet the person they're most likely going to marry any significant dates okay we have one okay we have two i'll go ahead and pull one more oh three okay oh okay this is interesting so the first one that flew out was october 
So it could be that you guys are meeting in October, your birthday's October, their birthday's October, we have October. The next one we have is January. So this is interesting. And then the last one we have is December. I think this is so interesting because this is like within what, like four to five months of each other. October, November, December, January, yeah, like four months. That's so interesting. So definitely winter time, I feel like is going to be a decent time when you guys meet each other. I'm excited for you guys with pile number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and maybe subscribe if you like hearing my voice and like my readings. I appreciate every single one of you, and you deserve love, and don't settle for less. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful lovelies who choose pile number two. Who chose red jasper let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys and who you will be marrying and what they're like so right off the bat i have eight of cups clarified by queen of cups so this person is very emotional this person is very and you're like oh my god no i don't want someone who cries all the time no 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 this is someone who's in tune with their emotions so if you upset them they're going to tell you if you hurt them you're going to know like this isn't someone who who's very stoic and has like a rusting bitch face to the point where you don't know if they're happy sad mad no this person with you is very vulnerable and they also i feel like um i feel like you guys have a similar past i feel like you guys both had to walk away from toxic situations from talk toxic friend groups toxic work situations specifically i'm hearing um i feel like you guys aren't strangers both of you guys aren't strangers to if it's not serving you you're quick to cut them off you know the next card we have upright is the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Then we have the Empress in Reverse, clarified by the Page of Swords. We have Death in Reverse, clarified by the King of Wands in Reverse. Then we have the Hermit and the Ace of Cups. And let me just say, pile number two, you guys are the only special pile. Because I kid you not, I was shuffling to get clarification for the Death card, and we had these three pop out. So you guys have ten cards compared to the eight tarot cards other people have. Which means your story is a little juicy. <laughs> So with the Wheel of Fortune being upright and the Ace of Pentacles, this is telling me that this is someone that you've, one, either been manifesting for a long time, and two, I kid you not, when that card popped out, I heard, like, divine intervention, divine, um, like, it's like a divine connection. Like, it was made for one another, and I also feel like you guys might know each other from a past life or have, like, a soul contract or something like that. Um, this is someone who you're going to meet in a time where you're like, look, if it wasn't fate, I don't know what is, you know? This is one of those moments that really makes you take a step back and be like, well, damn, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I see you, universe. I see you doing your thing. I trust you. Um, yeah, I feel like this person also is into spirituality and into manifestation and all that stuff. I don't think they're a stranger to the idea. I will say that they also do have a decent amount of money. Like, they're very easily, like, attracted to manifesting money. Like, the abundance will come in very naturally to them. And you'll notice this when you're with them. Like, it's the type of attitude they carry when it comes to finances and manifesting that I think you'll tend to dote on. Like, you'll pick it up and be like, wow, this is actually the best thing ever. Like, I'm so happy my partner or my future husband slash wife showed this to me because this is great. Like, now that I know this little secret, I'm just going to keep it forever. Then with the Empress being in reverse with the Page of Swords, I feel like this is someone who, when you meet, they're very, like, well-guarded. <laughs> like, they're very much so um, the type of person who knows what they want. They're not settling for less. They're not very affectionate, right? Because the Empress is someone who's very affectionate. They might not want kids, okay? Uh, that could be something mutual for both of you. They, I mean... I heard that message specifically, so it might be a message for a certain number of you guys. I don't think it's the majority. I think it's maybe like five people watching this, but it came out. But with the Page of Swords, it's clarifying the Empress in reverse. It's telling me that this person doesn't mind, again, cutting off people who don't serve them. They don't mind speaking their mind. They're not doing it in an action or in a way that's going to hurt you, but they're more so like very bluntly <laughs> saying what's on their mind. Like, if they like you, they're like, I like you. And you're like, well, shit, okay, I don't, I'm not confused, which is nice. I don't have mixed signals. They'll just straight up be like, I like you. I see a future with you. Do you see a future with me? Like, I don't have time to waste. You know what I mean? Like, they don't want to waste your time and you don't want them to waste their time. 
Like it's a very mutually beneficial relationship is what I'm feeling. I feel like you guys are going to grow a lot, especially because we have the death in reverse, which to me tells me that you guys are both like you guys are both shedding egos and past um I want to say past standards and expectations for certain situations and people. I feel like this person is really opening both your mind and your view like this is the type of person who's very optimistic this is the type of person who isn't pessimistic at all like they take things for what they are and how they're supposed to be taken and the aspect like they don't let situations take the better of them or get the best of them is what i'm hearing they're the type of person to if someone's trying to get you know the better side of them and really piss them off and stuff like that they're not going to give in because they know exactly what would happen if they played into that person's hand this is the type of person who's very mature both mentally and physically, which is nice for you guys. This is the type of person I feel like who, I don't know, I don't know how to say it into words. Like I, I know how I see them in my head, you know. This is the type of person who says it as it is and they have so much respect around them. They have so much, um, they have like a really good reputation. I don't know if they're famous, but I do know that in whatever they're doing, it, whether it's like their job, their school, whatever point you meet this person, they have a really good reputation to the point where people respect and admire them. And so when they introduce you to their colleagues or whatever, other people might be jealous of you, but I'm feeling that once they get to know you, they're also like, they're admiring you guys. Like you guys are a power couple is what I'm feeling. Um, death in the reverse being clarified by the king of wands in reverse this is someone who doesn't want something short term this is someone who wants something long term with you because the king of wands is very passionate the king of wands is very turned on very into into you <laughs> and into thyself you know this is someone who is isn't a stranger when it comes to giving pleasure and taking pleasure in the simple things both in love and in life this is the type of person who wants to enjoy those simple pleasures but i also feel like when you meet them you might meet them in a situation where they weren't as giving as what they are now that they're in a relationship with you i feel like this person something happened to them in the past that they had to walk away from because maybe they were being too open and other people took that and saw it as a weakness and you know they kind of just took their vulnerability and used it against them so I feel like when you meet this person they might be not only blunt with their words but I also feel like they might have like kind of like a colder side when it comes to affection like your love language might be different than theirs or it might be similar but they just might be holding back so don't feel like alarmed or don't feel like make signals because like they say they like you but they're not showing it it's just because they've been burned before in the past is what I'm feeling. Also with the Hermit card and the Ace of Cups. So with the Hermit card, I feel like this is someone who is very logical. This person could be an engineer. They could be, um, I don't know why I heard logistics. They also could be into like, a, um, they could be an accountant. Like they're very, very good with numbers and keeping things in place. Like they're very meticulous in the aspect that they like to have all their ducks in a row they like to make sure everything is the way it should be before anything happens or before anything is approached so i feel like this person saw you or they will see you before you actually meet them and kind of like i don't want to say stalk you but i feel like they kind of get more information from you or from people that know you like you might have mutual friends with them and not even know it and they might ask about you before approaching you they're like hey how is giovanna like is she nice is she like what can you tell me about her this and that like i'm semi-interested you know and then they'll come forward and present you a love offer or they'll be very genuinely honest with you they're the type of person who i also feel like can be introverted with their feelings like they're the type of person who doesn't say i love you every five seconds they say it and you can really feel the impact of their words like, this is the person who's, I feel like, kind of reserved is what I'm picking up on. Like, they don't really show everybody their their true feelings or their true side. So, it's kind of like, when they show it to you, like, you feel kind of, like, honored or kind of, like, privileged. Like, oh my god, like, you're only showing me. Wow. That means a lot, you know? Like, this person, when they come to you and they confess their love for you or they 
propose to you, I feel like it's gonna be very, very emotional. Um, well, damn, you guys, I'm so excited for you. Let's go ahead and get some clarification with some Oracle cards. So the first one we have is step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So yeah, if this is you guys walking away from your past because you were too open with someone and they burned you, um, you're not going to find your person there. Or if this is them, they're stepping out of their comfort zone to meet you. But regardless, I think you should step out of your comfort zone too a little bit because I don't know, maybe you'll meet them like at a group activity. I feel like you're going to meet them again at the right place at the right time. Your second one says, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. They could be a Leo. Um, I don't really want for these readings to be so like specific with like name initials and stuff like that. Just because there are a decent amount of you guys watching and I don't want you to get bummed if anything happens. So we have uh, three more Oracle cards. So the next one says, it says time to go. So if you're thinking and romanticizing a person from the past as you're watching this, let me just break it to you. The person from the past is not them because this energy is new. I don't feel like it's someone from the past. If anything, I feel like if this is you holding on to the past, the moment you let go, the moment you make amends with yourself about coming to the conclusion that there is no conclusion and what happened just happened um, and you have to move forward with your life, so be it. But I do feel that... Um, the more you let go of it and accept things for what they are and you start to work on yourself and move forward, this person will soon quickly come in because I feel like they're also at the same rate or same pace as you guys are in terms of doing that because maybe they too recently walked away from a relationship that didn't serve them. So don't hold on to people or things that aren't really adding into your life and you kind of keep telling yourself the same story that's completely different from the reality you're in which then only results in you being disappointed each and every time. So the next card here we have is why. So I feel like a lot of you guys are like, why? Like, why is this me? Like, why is it this person? Why Why can't I know more? Well, simply because the universe doesn't want you to know more right now because that's going to take the fun out of meeting your partner. I know, <laughs> kind of sorry. Uh, I know, I know. I'm a very curious person too. But I also feel like why is like, why now? Like, like why when I'm in this shitty situation am I meeting the person who I'm going to marry? Like why? And only time will tell is the answer that I have for you guys. And your next card says between worlds. So again, I feel like this is someone like, I feel like this is someone you manifested one. And number two, I feel like it might feel too good to be true for you guys. Like you're kind of like, I want to take it, but I don't want to take it. Like I want to I want to manifest him, but I don't want to manifest them. I want to do this, but I don't want to do this. Like, you have to make up your mind. Like, this is the type of person who isn't indecisive. Like, your partner, your spouse that you're going to marry, <laughs> they're not indecisive. They're the type of person that tell you, like, yes or no, black or white, like, hello or goodbye. Like, you want to stay in my life or do you want to leave it? Like, they're not the type of person to give you room to you know, meddle in because they don't want to give people that upper hand in playing with their feelings and in hurting them. And I feel like that's what, that's something you guys might need to learn is to assert your boundaries and the aspect like you can give people only so much and they can only give you so much. So is that, that piece they're giving you and adding onto your life, is that better or worse than what you thought it was? Like, is it worth it for you to keep to keep them in your life and to keep seeing them, thinking about them, or is it not worth it anymore, you know? So I pulled four Whimsical Lover Oracles and we're gonna go ahead and see what type of love you guys can expect, so. Oh, see, see, look, remember earlier with the Wheel of Fortune, I mentioned past life, look at this, look at this. It says your partner is someone you shared a past life with, yes. And I feel like they can't come in unless you let go of your past, which is kind of funny. Your next one you have is serendipity, guys. I can't make this up. You know, the universe will bring you two together at the right place at the right time. This resembles a coincidence, but it's not the coincidence. Like we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Y card, we have serendipity. So, oh, man, you guys, I'm so excited for you. Maybe butterflies mean something to you too, by the way. The next one we have is loyalty. Your partner is loyal and her and holds pure intentions towards the relationship. Again, this reminds me of Leo. Um, when I was designing this card, I actually didn't mean for it to be Leo, but now that I look at it, it reminds me of like a Leo embodied in her. What a goddess. Well, anyways, 
you guys, this is someone you don't really have to question. Like, you know, when they come into your life, like they're the one point blank period, because you will feel like you've known them before. And that's what a past life connection is. You feel like you've been together before, not just this life. And serendipity, serendipity is such a cool thing because you won't have to question it. You'll just know it's the universe. For your last card, we have, I love you. Someone will confess their love for you if they have not already done so. So this person, this connection, I feel like is coming soon. And by soon, I mean like within like the next two years because time in the universe, like time in the spirit realm is very fluid. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? <laughs> I also made some little cards to figure out what month or like what seasons are significant for you and your partner or like when you guys might meet. So I'm going to go ahead and draw some of these little guys. So let's go ahead and draw three. What month or significance for this uh, connection? What can you tell us, spirit guys? When will be the month they might meet? What's the season? Okay, we have February, the first one. Okay. Pile number one also got February, if I'm not wrong. No, I'm lying. They got January. Okay, two more, please. Oh, that one fell on the ground. One more, please, universe. One more. One more. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, we got that one twice. Okay, I'm lying. We got four. <laughs> so let me just say, for you guys, we have February. We also have April, May, and June. So I feel like from the beginning to the middle of the year is going to be very... um be very very important for you guys this could either be your birthday something significant i actually had to put back the other june one just because we got it twice so it might be june it might be summertime um that's important to you guys this could be your birthday this could be their birthday or this could be the time you guys meet them or get married you know if this resonated please give a like comment down below and subscribe i love you guys i can't wait to see you guys in the next reading until then have a good day i love you bye Hello friends who chose pile number three, aka Rose Quartz. Here we go with your reading of your person. So right off the bat, we have Eight of Swords upright, clarified by Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Magician, clarified by the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the King of Cups, clarified by, this, by the Ten of swords in reverse. I just realized all of them are reversed on the bottom row. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, I feel like you guys are kind of um, closed-minded and you almost don't know what you want in your person. I feel like your person is trying to come to you, but because you guys haven't made a decision on what characteristics you like, what you want, what you, if, whether or not you actually want to fall in love, whether or not you actually want to get married and have somebody by your side, is preventing them from being from the universe being able to deliver them to you. I feel like this person looking at the two of cups clarified by the two of swords. I feel like this person, and when I was shuffling, I actually heard divine counterpart, divine partnership. Um, when I saw the two of cups, so this person is given to you like a little gift from the universe. However, they can't come to you if you're being closed minded and you don't know what you want. Like the universe wants to give you the ten of pentacles. They want to give you abundance, love, happiness. But because they don't know where you're at, they don't know where you're standing. If you want left or right, you know, vanilla or chocolate, you know, red or blue, they don't know what you want, so they can't come and give it to you. So definitely make up your mind. I also feel like this person is very um, abundant in the aspect, like, they, they have a good money mindset. However, they might not be where they want to be with their finances yet. I feel like when you meet this person, they're in the middle of building an empire you know they're not the ceo yet but they're not the first employee to work if that makes sense so with the two of cups being upright clarified by the two of swords i feel like this person is someone that's going to make you feel so relieved that you actually took off the blindfold and that you were able to open your mind and open your heart once again to the idea and concept that is love and that you're going to be genuinely very happy because this partnership between you two, this this spouse, this partner is someone who gives and gives back very evenly. Like they give you 50-50, you know what I mean? You give them and they give you. 
This this is someone who doesn't mind if they're having if you're having a bad day, they don't mind going to the store and picking up your favorite fruit or like snacks and stuff to make your day because they see like, oh, like babe is having a hard day today. Let me just be extra sweet and not stop dating you even when we're married because it's literally the little things that make a difference. And I feel like that is is them in general. They're like the type of person that do little things for you because they know that the little things matter both to you and to them. With the two swords being in reverse, I feel like again, this person is someone who isn't afraid of new things. This is someone who, if I feel like they're from a different culture, different background. I feel like this is someone who maybe you had misjudged I don't want to say their culture but maybe you had some like uh, misconceptions or there was like miscommunication or you didn't even know where they're from or know properly like their culture maybe you've heard of it but you never really like cared about it if that makes sense and then when they start to show you who they are what they're about you're thankful that you were able to see it with a fresh set of new eyes that you're able to take it as it is and how it should be taken instead of like Again, listening to that misinterpretation, miscommunication, mis, um, just misinformation that was spread around, if that makes sense. With the magician being upright, clarified by the nine of pentacles in reverse, I feel like this person is a really good manifester. I feel like this person has a lot of ambitions and a lot of goals. However, they're not close to where they want to be when you meet them. This is someone who says a lot and they will put in the effort but when you're with them, you haven't seen them reap from their efforts, if that makes sense. Like, they're simply watering and you're just kind of waiting for the seeds to sprout. And you're like, okay, when are the seeds sprouting? Are the seeds even there? Are you sure you planted them? Like, this is a person who's like, yes, yes, babe, I planted them. We're watering them. It's okay. It takes time. So I feel like this person has a lot of patience. This person is the type of person to encourage you to try new things, encourage you to make your own dreams and make your own little garden and water them and really see how much it grows. They're the type of person who, even though they, they're they very patient and they might be doubtful sometimes because I mean, we're all humans. Sometimes we doubt in the divine and that's normal. But I feel like overall they have like this really good um, faith. They just trust everything happens for a reason they don't try to control a situation they just go with the flow they accept that things are happening for their greatest good and that's that they're not the type of person to go against the waves they're not the type of person to go against the grain they're the type of person to do what makes them happy and in doing so take the lessons that comes with whatever they're doing i also feel like with the king of cups this person I really wasn't trying to mention any zodiac signs, but this person could be a Pisces or Cancer is what I'm really feeling. Or Scorpio, actually. Scorpio, too. But um, I really feel like, even if they're not, I feel like this person's very in tune with, one, their intuition. Like, they have a very strong sense of self. And they're able to connect with their spirits, guides, the, the spirits, you know, the divine very easily. And this might make you salty. <laughs> this person... Just when they say, babe, I have a feeling, you have to trust them on that. You can't be like, but why? <laughs> but why? And they're like, I have a feeling. Okay, but, but why? I have a feeling too. No. Like, listen to them because they have really strong intuition. I also feel like when it comes to like, um, ooh, okay. When it comes to seeing people, I just heard this. When it comes to seeing people's true colors and you're iffy about someone, your partner is going to be so quick to tell you their true colors because they see things for as they truly are. Your partner is someone to be like, hey babe, that's a good investment. Hey babe, that's a terrible investment. Do this, don't do that. And they're not doing it out of spite or whatever. They're doing it because they genuinely want to save you from the hurt. Like they're the type of person to be like, oh, that person over there, they're only using you. Like I could tell like when you were talking, like their body language, the way they were answering you, the way they belittled you, like no bueno. Whereas if someone's really good for you, they'll be like, hey, that was great. Like, there's a good opportunity. You should take it, this and that. They're not the type of person to make you feel bad about it. You know, like, oh my God, you're always putting yourself in these stupid situations. Why can't you see things clearly? No, they're not the type of person to express themselves like that. This is someone who's very mature. And they kind of have, like, seen a lot in life is what I'm feeling. Like, I feel like this person has gone through things that they might not even tell you about. They kind of, like, keep it to themselves, but... 
they only do it because they learn so much that they they almost wish they didn't go through it but they they're glad they did because now they have the experience to help you get better and you don't have to go through as many heartbreaks as they did if that makes sense with the king of cups being clarified by the ten of swords in reverse i feel like this is someone who's not going to backstab you this is not someone who's going to blurt out your secrets this is not someone who is going to make you feel like shit because you're vulnerable with them <laughs> no no if anything, this person is going to see the fact that you're vulnerable with them, you're open with them, and take it as, like, a sign of love, if that makes sense. Like, this person's like, oh my god, Giovanna's being very open with me. I know she's not like this with everybody. She really does love me. I love her so much. You know, like, it's, it's something like that, where if you're being very genuine, they see you as you are presenting yourself, like, even if the words don't come out right, you know, even if the moment might get a little messed up because that's life and it happens to all of us. This is the type of person to just actually see things for the way you're trying to present them, you know, with the genuineness, with the kindness, with the love. Um, this makes me so happy because this person is very understanding and they're very good. I feel like you guys can build your empire together. I feel like this is someone who is willing to invest in ideas that you might have. This is someone that you guys could literally start like a fitness company with. This is someone you guys could start, I don't know, like a YouTube channel with. This is someone who is willing to do it as long as you're willing to do it and stay committed. Because this is someone who, when they say they are committed, they are committed for the long term. They're willing to put an effort and the work and without a doubt, they will reap the rewards and they will live a very good and humble lifestyle. Let's go ahead and start flipping your oracle cards to see what you guys got. So your first one says you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Okay, you could be a Virgo watching this. We just passed Virgo season. Um, again, this is you not feeling like you're good enough. Like the universe is trying to come in and give you the abundance, you know, the partner you've always wanted, but you're like, no one's going to love me. No one loves me. Stop with the mindset of replaying the fact that you are a victim because other people hurt you in the past. Okay, yes, you were the victim of that situation. However, now it's time for you to put in the healing. It's time for you to deal with the shadow work in order to get to where you want to be, right? People will come into your life and hurt you and backstab you and call you really mean names. But it's not their responsibility to help you mend. That is your own responsibility. If you don't want to be the little boy or the little girl who has PTSD, who cries every night, who is hurt, then you need to focus on healing. You need to meditate. You need to release you need to de-stress and you need to let go. Because no matter how much we hate hearing it, everything does happen with a divine reason. We have to go through certain lessons in life and it sucks, I know. But there's always a reason why everything we face today prepares us for our tomorrow that we've prayed for and asked for. You can't get from point A to point Z without going through the rest of the alphabet. And each little letter in that alphabet has a different lesson. And so, before you can meet your, your spouse, your partner, there are things you have to let go of, release, and free yourself from. Because if you don't do that, this person is going to be above you in terms of like how far they've ascended spiritually, okay? This person doesn't want to deal with someone below them, and you shouldn't deal with someone below you either. So in order to meet them, in order for you guys to meet, you have to be at the same level. You have to do the healing. They're doing the healing no matter how much it hurts them. Now it's your turn to do the healing. Your next monology card says communication is key, new moon and Gemini. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Gemini. Again, communication is key. Communicate what are the needs that you want to be met? What are the things that truly matter to you in a relationship? Communication. I feel like you guys are going to be easy to communicate with. I feel like more you than them in terms of like, I feel like for you, you might be more petty or passive aggressive, whereas them... They'll just be like, wow, you really hurt my feelings. Like, I kind of, like, need some space. Like, they'll tell you straight up. Like, they're more in tune with their, their feelings, whereas you you might, again, be more passive-aggressive. You'll be like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, and you're, like, dying inside, you know? Your next card is New Life. This is someone that is not from your past, in case you were questioning, like, oh my god, is this person from my past? No, this person is not from your past, so... Whoop to do that's something good because I know some people don't want to be in a past relationship. You know, leave the past in the past. It happened and now you're in a different chapter of your life, okay? Don't be like, oh my god, 
my prime of life was in high school. Nah, sweetie. Okay, you got a whole life ahead of you. High school, high school was like the groundwork, okay? That was like the baseboards of your house, like the blueprint, okay? And now you're actually going out and about in life and every day is a new day and every day adds something new. So if you don't like the way your life is going right now, feel free to change it up because the power is in you. The next oracle card says imagine. So yeah, I feel like you guys do manifest. This person manifests and you know what? They might even manifest you. But I actually, Loki, I really do feel that. Like either you're trying to manifest them or they're trying to manifest you. But one of you guys is blocked off because of the past, because you guys don't want to let go, because you guys are still holding on and, and playing the role of the victim in that old mindset, you know? Your next one is Treasure Island. So yeah, I feel like this person is going to feel like heaven on earth. I feel like this connection between you guys is literally the, the fact that anything either of you guys touch is going to turn into gold is what I'm hearing. So I feel like your person has a really good eye and a really good, again, intuition for money and for making things out of nothing. And I feel like you're also going to develop the same skills they have. This is a type of person where it's kind of like you find a diamond in a rough, like you find gold where you weren't looking. And I feel like that's how you guys are gonna meet. It's when you're not looking, when you're just focusing on yourself and you're healing, boom, the universe is gonna put this person in your life. And without knowing, by working on yourself and healing, you're manifesting this person into your life. So I have four whimsical lover oracle cards to just tell us the overall themes of love. The first one we have, reconciliation. See, I don't see this as someone from your past. I feel this like you're more reconciling with yourself. You're forgiving yourself from your past wounds. You're forgiving yourself from not knowing any better than when you knew better. Your next card says trust. Have faith in your partner and the relationship you've built together. So maybe you guys, um, which is okay. I mean, we all have some like PTSD from like past shitty partners, but this person is someone who's trustworthy and they'll be able to tell whether or not you trust them. Like this is someone who will give you, you know, your space and they'll respect you and they're not going to question you and they expect you to do the same. Your next one is, oh my God, you guys look the one, the partner. This is the partner you are destined to be with in this lifetime. This is so cute. This is the person who wants to grow old with you, you guys. They want to see you. They want to see you change. They want to be there for you. They want to do everything with you. And for the last card we have is honeymoon phase. Your relationship is in the playful and passionate phase before things begin to settle down. This for me, the honeymoon phase, I feel like you guys can be very childish. You guys can be very, not childish in a bad way. Like I feel like you guys um, are very childlike in the aspect that you guys are learning to love for the first time. You know, when you, before you fall in love, before you get into a relationship, you know how you have this concept of love. I feel like you guys are starting to embody that once again both of you guys, because it just feels so good. There's a really nice rhythm, a really nice beat w between the two of you guys that only you two know, only you two can, you know, move to, and nobody else has to know. I also made these cute little cards to like point out what seasons or what month are significant for you and your partner, or when you guys meet, if it's their birthday, their birthday. So let's go ahead and see what months, what time of year is significance for pile number three. When will they meet the person? they're going to marry. Okay, we have June. Okay, two more cards, please, spirit guides. Two more cards. These cards are so tiny. <laughs> I don't want like the entire deck to spill because I'm very clumsy. Okay, one more. One more card. One more card, please, spirit guides. Okay, that was a decent amount. But you know what, I'll take them all. I'll take them all. Wow. Okay, if you're drawn between pile number two and pile number three, please watch number two. Okay, because I don't know why, there's some correlation between all three piles, okay? So if you're stuck between two piles, watch the two piles you're stuck to. Because pile number three correlates with pile number one and pile number two. So the first one that had popped out was January, okay? But look at this. We have January, so you could be a Capricorn, okay? Or they could be a Capricorn or... um your birthday could be in January, if you get married in January, whatever, meet them at a party in January, meet them on New Year's, <gasps> okay, or you could start the new year with them, <laughs> and then we have, we literally have June twice, and this happened, I kid you not, in the second pile, so if you were drawn in the second pile, some of your guys' energies jumped over into this reading towards the end, 
Um, your birthday could be in June, their birthday could be in June, you could be a Gemini or a Cancer. Um, which is funny because we do have the Gemini card. The next one we have is September. And then the next one we have is Summer. So I definitely feel either New Year's is significant for you guys, I don't know why, September. Definitely summer, especially June, you guys might be meeting them. And those were the messages I received for you, pile number three. If this resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love talking to you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great day and you are loved because I love you. Bye, my friends. Bye.